Hey everybody, Daliara here from Samira's Den. And today we are finally giving you our honest review of the Nalsa Stand Mixer. We couldn't give you an honest review at the time of the purchase of the Analsa stand mixer because the driving point would have been its price tag. But now, after two months of using it, we are finally ready. You might be wondering why we ultimately decided to get a stand mixer. Don't we have a hand mixer? Or even a food processor? Or can't we knead the dough by hand? Yes, yes, yes. We can and we have. But who doesn't like to free up some time while baking? And the stand mixer does exactly that. To be honest, we did a good amount of research to come down to the Inalsa stand mixer. What attracted us in the Inalsa stand mixer? Firstly, it was its size. Secondly, its price. We can also add positive reviews that we read on Amazon prior to purchasing the mixer. If you would like to watch our unboxing video of the Inalsa mixer, check out our featured video up there. Somewhere there. Sam, cue the drum roll! Is it worth buying the Inalsa stand mixer? Yes, 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 a hundred times yes! If you are an occasional baker, it is your must to have the stand mixer in the kitchen. Considering that Sam and I keep baking bread on a regular basis, after engaging in Nelsa in our bread adventures, our lives have become so much simpler. I, for instance, love weighing in all ingredients in a Nelsa bowl, leave the dough to knead for some time and do some small errand in the house meanwhile. If you're making bread dough, it doesn't need your guidance on kneading. Just make sure that you knead the dough under 5 minutes. Sam, on the other hand, still likes kneading the dough by hand. According to him, it's therapeutic. You will save up some time not only while making the dough, but also while making your batter or by whisking up some cream or egg whites. We used our stand mixer extensively for making buttercream frosting and cream cheese or mascarpone frosting with whipping cream. As long as you follow all the proportions correctly, after setting your announcer to work, your involvement is minimal. Get these minutes back to your daily routine. In comparison with the hand mixer that we have at home, the dough hook of the Inalsa stand mixer is made to withstand the thick dough. Incidentally, one of the door hooks of our hand mixer broke in two just this morning. But fortunately, our Inalsa stand mixer hasn't let us down. The hook, I can honestly feel and see how sturdy it is. Its pedal attachment is in line with its door hook, does the job perfectly. If we talk about its whisking cone attachment, I honestly thought that it would fall apart when I first saw it. But it brings your cream or your egg white to the perfect peaks and you simply cannot ask for more. When you are whisking your cream, make sure that you fill in your bowl with slightly above minimum quantity required as per the instructions manual. And do not overload it either. As long as you stay within these parameters, your cream will be perfect. There are two things in the stand mixer that I have adored since the time I touched it. Firstly, the bowl. It just sits perfectly in my hand. I don't know what signs was applied to it, but it can also be easily cleaned with a spatula. Plus, it's super light, strong and durable. Secondly, how light this mixer is. After lifting our not-so-young food processor, this mixer is a feather. By the way, the mixer has suction cups at the bottom that makes it perfect for your hard and smooth surfaces, such as your kitchen countertops or wooden tables. After all the praise, let me give you a splash of what can be improved in the mixer, so that you can decide on your own whether you want it in your kitchen or not. The build quality of the mixer is not premium, but we knew that we couldn't get it for under 10k. You can observe that I always gently release the lever while holding the mixer, so that it doesn't pop out suddenly. If you're not careful enough while operating it, 
it could break quite easily. After using the mixer several times, I can surely say that the splash guard doesn't protect you from spillage 100%. It would have been nice if the lid were attached to the head of the stand mixer to cover the bowl completely. I would like to mention that this is a 1000 watt mixer with a 3 pin 5 ampere plug. Lastly, the mixer comes in two colors, champagne and red. As you see, we chose our red. I hope you find our review of the analysis stand mixer useful and it will help you in your purchase decision. If you like our video, please like, share and subscribe somewhere down over there and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on Samyara Den. I'm Deliara from Samyara Den. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.